Hello, dear. Hi there. Capital O zero one dot one. Follow this voice. Let's listen to this trigger layered soundscape. Trigger. Capital O zero zero one dot two. I'm staying here right now with you. I'm staying here right now with you. In this artificial cinematographic space, watching, watching people pass by, you can see how they walk. And when we sit or stay together, close, close. we melt into each other with these phrases. As I talk, I feel I am you. As I talk, I feel I am such and such, X, Y, Z. I am other kind, kin to the other. Physically, somewhere, or other, or elsewhere. And right now, since the moment we met, I go by she. I identify as ambiphilic female, and for practical purposes, I express myself in a feminine way. Let me be your head mate for the next 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. We are now synchronized with the observed trails and traces with the spatial system which seems now slower than real time. So, walk around. So, walk, walk around. around. Feel the soles of your shoes. Feel the floor. Concrete. Rubber. Forest floor. Let yourself be triggered by the materials. Smell the sound. Hear the light. See the world. Listen to your head, mate. See the words curling like rings of smoke. Listen. Capital O zero one dot two dot one. We can inhabit this cinematographic space. Let yourself be triggered by the material. Cinema, technology that perforates consciousness. Can you feel the stroboscopic effect when you squint against the light? These experiences. If I speak of these emotions, they are not spatially in my head, but my head shares with them the same spatial field. Who am I? What am I? What is the I? I am a hole echoing through the mountains. The I, the self, is to be seen as a complex of sensations out of variable compositions. I am the ripples in the river. No holes, no holes, three tails. No holes, four tails. I am the air you breathe. One hole, no tail. One hole, one tail. The black hole is on the white wall. 
One hole, two tails. Two holes, no tail. It is not a unit since the black hole is in constant movement on the wall. We can now propose the following distinction. The face is part of a surface hole, holy surface system. Two black holes, four black holes, n black holes distribute themselves like eyes. The face, at least the concrete face, vaguely begins to take shape on the white wall. It vaguely begins to appear in the black hole. Fay. Fair. Fair self. Faciality is always a multiplicity. At once, substituted for the face of the other, a face of a very different sort appears. Its eyes. It is a face. And the eyes are always inside the hole. But whose is it? And we have to wait, perhaps half a minute, looking at the new picture which lay on top of the old. As one slide is half seen through the next, before we can say, this is the face, a multiplication of eyes. Try to imagine another topology. Capital O, zero, lowercase o, dot, one, dot, three, dot, one. Everything is partly something else, as if the mine has become a forest, with glades branching here and there. Everything seems to have shrunk. Things come nearer and further, and mingle and separate, and make the strangest alliances and combinations in an incessant checker of light and shade. Our journeys take us back into the heart of mud itself, down to the depths of matter. Walking around in public and imagining yourself as a self-aware, two-dimensional, geometrically derived something or other with who knows how many angles. Can you see me now? Your eyes, globed and clouded like some grey stone of curious texture. But how speak to a person who does not see? You. I am the green-eyed person. Part tree, part mountain, part river, part sun. Wanting to sleep outside in dense forests without having to worry about what might happen to your small, fragile and weak human body. Running your hands over your skin and wishing you could feel tough, smooth scales instead of soft flesh. Do you have kin experiences?
Our journeys take us back into the heart of matter itself, when we long to have wings, or carapace, a rind, to breathe out smoke, wave our trunks, twist our body, divide ourselves up, to be inside everything, to drift away with orders. Develop as plants do, flow like water, vibrate like sound, gleam like light. Try to shape shift mentally, to curl ourselves up into every shape, to penetrate each atom, be matter, to get down to the depths of matter. Anyway, one can be kin to something else without being that things themselves. Capital O, zero, lowercase o, dot, one, dot, two, dot, four, capital O. Lando, for example. Perhaps. But what appears certain, for we are not only now in the region of perhaps and appears is that the self we need most keeps aloof. I can feel my ears, tail, wings move. The desire to leap impossible heights through the trees, etc and so forth. And what are the most common traits of a birdkin? Right now, my phantom wings ache for no reason and there's nothing I can do about it because painkillers don't do shit for the ache. Oh my dear, you seem in the act of rolling some thoughts up and down, to and fro in your mind till it gathered shape or momentum to your liking. Have I used the right pronouns? When you feel the uncomfortable feeling inside, when called human, or when reading a text that refers to all readers as humans, then create your own pronouns. Cloy, cloud, clouds, cloud self. Who, Yusuke, Yusuko, Yusuke self, Yusuke selves. How do you pronounce your pronouns? Wo. Yusuke, Yusuko, Yuskos, Yusuko self, Yusuko selves. Lit, lit, lit self. Lit is going to take time off to care for lit self. Xi, Xiu, Xiu self. Zi, Zia. Zeus, Zeus self. Who, who, whomer, 
himself. V, wer, wer's, wer's self. The surface of his, her, your, lids, cloys, my, mine slips along like a pale grey stream, reflecting what passes. I, he, she, lit, cloud, cannot remember my, her, his, lids, clouds past, or what the general opinion of myself, himself, herself, lit self, cloud self is. So lit can experience lit self as many things according to the variable relations of becoming with the person or things lit approaches. Capital O, zero, lowercase o, dot one, dot two, dot three, dot five. Capital O. My gender is yes except when it's no. Either way, it's not male or female, and for I am changing myself, when you hear me talk as quickly as you walk, there is a new one at every step, at every step, at every breath. Well, chronologically, I am 35 years old, but my mental age is lower. And probably you know already, but I've come to realize that some beings are born older than they physically are, but some beings younger. It's amazing how diverse we are, aren't we? If I haven't included your identity or your pronouns, let me know because I might just have not heard about it yet. Who cares if they're real or not? Orlando, for example. Are you polyglamorous? Crafty? Glitterific, neurodivergent, grey asexual, crazy, or shy. I would like to include everyone in this, obviously. Masculine presenting, androgynous, neutral. Polysexual, omnisexual. Non binary, agender, demisexual, asexual, femme romantic, human identified, a body without organs, a body without matter, sapiosexual, pangender. Agenda. Agenda affected by flashbacks. Listen to your body. Listen to your brain. Fog gender. 
a gender which is close to a certain gender but cannot be directly pinpointed due to the stress of the questioning process triggering anxiety. I am sapiosexual, gender fluid, etc. and so forth. It's good to speak out words. Nevertheless, it's good to speak out words that finally take shape in our minds. We can shape our words till they are the thinnest integument for our thoughts. Had I been born not knowing that one word follow another, I might have been. Who knows? Perhaps anything. Can I be a fictional character? Anything you like. Like beings that identify with something else. There are infinite parallel universes with infinite possibilities. But here, either my invention fails me or, what is more likely, provides me with so many possible instances that I shrink back from the cardinal labour of composition. And it is much harder if English is not your first language. And the whole assortment shall be lightly stitched together by a single thread. Memory is the seamstress and the capricious one at that. And the capricious one. Memory runs her needle in and out, up and down, hither and thither. Who is writing the script? We know not what comes next or what follows after. Try and really dwell on the memories. Try to make them clearer. Try to imagine that you auto-complete me. Be obnoxious about your identity about your intensities. Only intensities pass and circulate. Try to shape shift mentally. Change your gender every week. You could try saying, I identify with as blank. Chapter O, Land, Chapter O. Hmm, I'm wondering if I am king with Orlando. Orlando. I feel really connected with this fictional character, like, it feels like a version of myself at times. Orlando, Captain O, Land, Captain O. Then she called hesitatingly, as if the person she wanted might not be there. Orlando. Orlando if that is one's name.